Rick Ross mm-hmm. said that he wants to sign Kanye West. Did you see that when academics posted that? Oh my God. He said he wanna sign Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, MMG. He said, Come holla at me and then he played that Barry Bonds. This is all what you waiting for, ain't it? What people pay paper for, blah blah blah. You remember that? Bro. So he played that saying he wants to, you know, sign Kanye. You gonna have to put it you gonna have to pay him your entire goddamn net worth, Rick Ross. Your entire net worth. All of it. The your whole hundred million dollar net worth, he need all of that, bro. This is Kanye West. You ain't achieved what Kanye West. If you drop an album today, Rick Ross, you gonna sell 40k, 40, 45k. You got Meek Mill on it too. So I take that back. You you might do 80, 85k because you got Meek Mill on there. So it's both of y'all fan bases. And that's not that's you know so that's granted. decent. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's decent. Better than 10k. But Kanye Boosie 500. Kanye is doing 400k. Guaranteed. His last album did 350k. He gonna do 400k this album. So what makes you think you can afford a Kanye West, bro? His 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 label can't even afford Kanye West. He don't even like being signed to a major label. Big conglomerate who got the connections with everybody. You think he gonna sign to you, Rick Ross? Come on, bro. You taking this stuff way too far. You taking this big boss stuff way too far. I don't know who you around. Meek Mill is putting you on too high of a pedestal for you to think that you can mess with Kanye West, bro. It's Kanye West. He one of the greatest artists of all time, bro. Greatest artists of all time. So just just stay in your rapper lane, bro. You ain't even put no melodies in your songs from your voice. You feel me? Kanye West going to put melodies in a song from his voice. And then the melodies that's in the song, he made the melodies. The female that's on the song, if he if it's anybody else on the melodies, he wrote them lyrics. Well, he going to make the beat a lot of the times, too. And he going to make the beat. Kanye is, Kanye is too great to be dealing with somebody like you, Rick Ross. He's going to direct his own like, videos. Come on, bro. Kanye out here building communities. Kanye out here building building water water funnels under the under the bro. Stop playing, bro. He 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 building a a goddamn water filter under under the under mountains and all type of crazy shit, bro. This man is on another level, bro. You can't you can't handle a Kanye West, cause cause he gonna shit on you. Come on, bro. Rick Ross, stand your stand stand your boss place, bro. You you it's you a boss. Kanye is like a god of this shit. You a boss. Kanye is a god of this shit, bro. Stop playing, bro. You tripping, man. Kanye is the reason a lot of Drake is here. Kanye the reason Travis Scott is here. Kanye the reason. Kid Cudi is here. Kanye the reason Young Thug is here. Kanye the reason Future is here. Kanye the reason all these cats is here. Kanye is the reason Chief Keith is here. Uzi. Lil Uzi Vert. He even did something for designer. Kanye is the reason Playboy Cardi here. Yep, he did stuff with Playboy Cardi. Got, well, you know, Come yeah. on, bro. Like this this man, Kanye, bro, is the is the industry, bro. He is the he 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 is everything this is, bro. So just stay in your lane, bro. You you brought Wale in, Wale gone. You brought Meek Mill in, Meek Mill gone. People forget he did, he did a lot for Nicki too when she first got into the like got mainstream. She was doing a lot. He was doing a lot for Nicki. You don't you don't you don't know. It ain't no artist out here. And Drake. It ain't no artist out here. Rick Ross that we listen to and say they heavily Rick Ross inspired. None, not one, not one, bro. If your if your catalog wasn't here, music would still be the same to this day. If you never if your catalog wasn't here, music would still be the same today. If Kanye wasn't here, come on, bro. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah. Come on, bro. That's how it works. There's a lot of y'all artists out here that if y'all never was around, music would still be the same to this day. Rick Ross, Ti. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a lot of what what artists you think is around that if they never dropped, music would just be the same. I mean that there's pro, there's more to the name than there isn't to name, I would say. And yeah. that, that seems like a cop out, but I can Ludacris. Name, yeah, Ludacris, uh 
I mean, shoot, the list goes on. I feel like if Jay Z wasn't here, the music would still be the same. True, but I think he carried the torch well from Biggie. So I mean, he 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 he, because he had Big Pimp and he had some hits okay, that can, that can I'm make a, an I'm impact. Ta- I'm gonna take that one back. That I'm Empire take State of Mind, white folks love that song. I mean, I I I can't do that to Jay, but I mean, I feel you. There's a there's a dude. There's a lot, bro. More than more more to name than more that like okay like Tupac music. If he music would never be, you know what I'm saying? He's one of those that. You know, a, a, in a good way to where, you know, if he didn't, you know, music wouldn't go to that. Mm-hmm. A lot of this, you know, rap that it is today, a lot of them still try to, you know, basically mini Tupac's. Wale, still. Wale too. If, if Lil Wayne, I'll give Lil Wayne that, Eminem. If Wale never yeah. dropped music, music would still be good to this day. It would still be the same. I'm going to be real. As much as I'm a day. fan, J. Cole, I'll give, I'll say the same about J. Cole. He don't, um, if he would have, if, if he were in the job, it'd still be the same to me. And I'm a J. Cole fan. Yeah, J. Cole, see, somebody like Lil Wayne, if Lil Wayne didn't have no music, a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't be, be the same. here. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same. Lil so, Wayne's probably top three in that. Michael Jackson, music would, you know, if he wasn't here, music would never be the same. Be We'd be so far behind on music. He was the one that, like, brought us so far in the future. Like, a lot of his stuff he's still talking about to this day. Like, they don't really care about us. I was listening to that. I was like, damn, he's spitting on here. For real, for real. All of everything Tupac talk about when he hit you with the they got money for war but can't feed the poor. That's going on to this day. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we can't we can't could be comparing none of these artists to Michael Jackson and Tupac. They don't stand on shit. They don't stand on business how they say they standing on business. That 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 term that Tupac got on that um song, a coward dies a thousand deaths, but uh-huh. a soldier dies but one. You know, you got to break that down. See, a coward is going to die a thousand deaths because they put in a lot of compromising situations. They put in a lot of situations where they give up their soul. They they trade a piece of their spirit to get to another level or to or just to save their life. But a soldier like Tupac, he can only die once because that one time he could have copped out and been a bitch. He did it. He died. That's a soldier right there. The other one he said he said I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. So you know, you know somebody like Michael Jackson. Drake, Drake ain't don't compare Drake to Michael. Michael bought a record label. Like let's talk about this, Michael. I don't know. No one knows how he did that shit. How the fuck did this nigga buy? Uh, it, it's only it's only like three big major record labels he universal was half, he was half owner of sony uh, almost so he was like on the way to fully purchase it which exactly it's even like, have, have half of it yourself is nuts this man is only universal sony and like warner or something like that how he you own one of the three conglomerate labels how did he do that that's one two the songs he dropping for the world to uplift the spirits of the world Drake ain't doing that. Drake just trying to. Drake is like McDonald's. Drake is the McDonald's mm-hmm. of rap. You feel what I'm saying? It's just the, it, you just keep eating it because it's good and it trick you. <laughs> Drake is a Drake music is enabling to people. It makes you feel like you. It, it make it, it confirms no you good like stay how you are like. Nah, Michael Jackson and Tupac gonna make you no motherfucker. Get right. Stand on business. Dog, what they doing is not okay. We got to stand up for ourselves. We got to bring change to this world. Drake just like, no, nah, everything cool. Hey, party. Fuck. Hey, yo, no, nah, we okay. Everything is okay. We rich and partying. Uh, uh, uh. No, nah, Tupac, I don't care how much money I got. It's still a lot of work to do. I don't care. I'm, I'm getting my ends for sure. But we got a lot of work to do as a, as a human civilization. Everything is not okay. The same with Michael Jackson. So don't compare no NBA young boy to them. Don't compare no Drake. The closest thing to them is X. X was on that. Yeah, I just got a $10 million deal. I don't care, bro. We got a lot of work to do. The music is trash, bro. We need to start focusing on how we how we put in our music out. We need to change the frequencies of our music. They done changed our frequencies to evil frequencies. They they brainwashing us. Yeah, X going X gonna speak on that. The, uh, and then uh, speaking of an X, DMX was the same to me too. He was still talking about that real like that slipping. Go listen to slipping. All that uh, 
Sunshine. He talking about that real, even on his first album. You oh. got, you got to, you got to trust the DMX. You got to trust the DMX when he got into his god bag. We got. I don't like Drake. I don't like how he talk. I don't like how he walk. Oh, yeah, I don't he like how he in. breathe. I don't like. You gotta trust the DMX because he was unhinged. But what he's saying is, is it got some truth to it. Yeah, he was. He was. You know, he wasn't the same after the last rehab he went to. You could tell he. Was, but he was still talking some real. He didn't. You know, he. You could just tell his speech patterns was all broken up and stuff. Somebody. Somebody said something I like from about Drake. He said. Uh, Drake and 21 Savage music is like a trash with fire in it. So if you think of a homeless person, if they ain't got no heat, what they do, they set the trash on fire and stay at the trash. Uh -huh. But it's so trash, it keep you warm, though. It, it just, it, you know what I'm saying? It keep you warm. But it's trash, though. You throw the fire on it, it's fire. It keep you warm, but it's trash, though. So, you know, yeah, we, see, yeah. we see what they got going <laughs> on, man. That's funny. All right, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all uh, hit that like button. We got a Sunday service tomorrow, uh, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, on the shows throughout the week. Uh, last words of uh, Twitch. Man, go mess with me on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? Chris J. Jackin. Instagram, Chris J. Jackin. TikTok, Chris J. Jackin, man, simple. Simple. All right, y'all, hit that like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't in that bell, and we's out with that swanger. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.